GG chat. See you for a good 12 hours tomorrow. Yep. 12 hours. 12 hours. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be good no. damn. I'm gonna see it after I get back. It's so good. A friend of mine just told me that they rented a theater, so I get to go see it on Thursday. <laughs> nice. I saw it last night. Later, y'all. Hey, no. GG's. GG's, chat. GG, GG. GG. We're gonna play some chess. We're gonna play some chess. We're gonna play some chess. That is what the kids say. That's what they call it. Yeah. The adults, too. Yeah, really everyone, because it's called chess. That's what they call it, though. Yeah. It's kids, though. Kids. Won't shut up about they that. They call chess. it chess with, like, a little harsher edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chess! Before, we were playing we were playing digitally before, but now now it's some real shit. Yeah. Now it is happening good. All the pieces are here. I was terrified they wouldn't be. Uh, whoops, I turned off the headphones thing. Sorry, we got an extra queen just in case we, we promote and get two queens. Wow. That's how serious I am. Alright, Don? Sweet. Nice. Ow. Ow. I'm putting a chair behind you. Don't fall. Is this bag finished? It's finished. I'm about to here. put it on this I'm table, be, oh but boy, this table this is, is not here anymore. This is not super forgiving here. <laughs> okay. You good? Ish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're all mouse space. What if all you were stuck there? I tickled you, wow. huh? No, I won't. I'm very okay. ticklish. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm very ticklish. Woo! That made me want to do it for a sec, but... Damn no. it! Shouldn't so have said... it Just sit back here a little... Ways away from it and it suggests tickling. Oh. <laughs> Started to feel ticklish. Right. Got my analysis board here. Analyze. Indeed. I have. I have tickled over the phone with people like that before. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> phone tickling, you say? Some weird Bloodworth sex game? No. Mm -hmm. That's just right. Tickling. I'm talking about phone tickling. Talking about phone tickling. You were just tickling. All right, we are going to grab the Chawazi finger chooser, determine our initial seatings. Um. Um. <laughs> All right, we've got Don, Blood's in, Brandon's in. Who's the fourth? Uh, Damiani will be the other one. He's grabbing some food. All right, well, I'm gonna. My finger will be Damiani's finger. Everyone, please place your finger on this phone. Oh, okay. Everyone. First two will be the first matchup. It's Damiani against Mr. Jones. Oh first no! Match. All right. Damiani v. Wow. Jones. We're also going to have to. Uh... Patreon plug between games. Yeah, we are supported by you. We are able to do this because of you. We are able to do our shows because of you. We are able to do our reviews because of you. Go to Patreon.com/slash/EasyAllies to keep all of this happening. Uh... Uh, and you can also uh, sub here on Twitch. There's a little it's September discount going on. Uh, but Patreon is the main engine that pushes us forward. So thank you very much to everyone who is a patron. Uh, just the other day, uh, people in the $7 tier uh, got our Sound Club, Soundtrack Club discussion. Uh, me and Jones talking about uh, the music of Neo, The World Ends With You. Love it. Bully and Celeste. Love Celeste too. Uh, uh, I could not stop myself on The World Ends With You. I, I, yeah. I went like almost 20 minutes talking about that well, that music. It's a long album. It is a long album. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 51 tracks. Calling. Do oh, the yeah. Do the knights usually calling. face forward or like, or like in or like? It's however you want them to face. The game is very loose on uh, piece rotation values. And why advice is a two kings? Oh, this is a queen, not a king. This oh, is this important. Is queen, this yeah. is a king. Right. This is a queen. I, I honestly in case, do get those mixed up too much. You do in the rare case that you promote a pawn before your queen is lost. Oh, you, you have can, a second queen. Right. So, so when you that promote, that's not like a graveyard imagined gathering. It's like I can just summon. Yeah, you're summoning a new piece into existence. Cool. Queen, queen. There are rare cases where you you actually are allowed to promote to any piece uh, besides a pawn and a king. So, you there are reasons to promote. The rarest is a bishop under promotion, but it is sometimes necessary to avoid stalemate. I think I'm gonna have one ear on, one ear off. Yeah, for there won't be any sound effects. For here. action purposes. Jabba Wobs, I have not played near the world end with you. Oh, I just okay. listen to it a lot. I beat the whole dang thing. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna grab it on PC. 
Seven uh, out of ten. It, when that when that PC comes out. Seven out of ten. Fight me. Seven. Chess. Chess. You did not miss the first game, Snake Paradox. We are just setting up, getting ready. We already got a shout out back here from Blood, but you know what? Everyone out there watching from home, these fine purveyors of fantastic media content rely on your contributions to keep them going. They've been providing <laughs> amazing reviews, shows, and just material of all kinds for you over the last, what has it been, five years now? Oh, they appreciate yeah, your support. If you're already a supporter, if you're not, you can get in there on Patreon as low or high as you want. Of course, it's all appreciated and it makes all the difference yeah, well, in the world to these guys. Now. We're going to keep it going as long as we can. So get yeah, out there, get <laughs> increase that pledge, make that first uh, yeah, pledge, whatever right. it is. Do it. Oh my god, a bunch of tier one subs coming out. Thank you to TBeats15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be up to the next one. Damn, T Beaks. T Beaks coming out of your boy. I gotta make these speeches more often. I know. That was solid. Yeah, you got that. Just like call you. We're just like, we're finished out of the stream. Do you have 60 seconds? Yeah, yeah, I got you. We'll hold it up. Hold it. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You're like, look, I pulled the car over. Is this being streamed? into the interface. Can they yes, see this they screen? Yes, they can see your board. It's tiny in the corner. Hell yeah. Let's go. Um, wow. Chat. Uh, Jason, do a mic check. Mic check. Three, and four. Then, Hello, hum. everybody. You're picking that up, right? Yeah. yeah. Hum, hum, hum. No. Hang on. <laughs> uh, chat, does Jason sound OK? Do I sound hot? I <laughs> <laughs> no. use the word hot because that means, that means peaking. <laughs> right. So I do sound peaking. Sounds good. OK, good. Um, Sounds dreamy. Go to the other tab, Jason. The the epidemic sound. Yeah, and just hit play on the bottom. Oh, this got unplugged. That's why there's a hum. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna be giving commentary. Well, it's loud. it's got to yeah, get a little loud because I'm gonna be giving commentary, and I assume right now they can't hear me, which is good. If either of you can hear me, say hello. Dope. You're one and you're two. You're two. You're one. If it's too loud, like it's hurting you. Turn it down, but you don't want to be able to hear right. Jason. What? <laughs> you don't I mean, want to hear me. I'll zone out. I can zone out. This is amazing. Minute, so. All right, switch your uh, tab back to the chest thing. Okay. I'm so ready. All right, let me turn this on for you guys, and I will explain the format that we are in. Uh, let's this see. is the perfect chest music, by the way. It is. It's very, <laughs> it's very I'm just fun. Check the sound in the other room, okay. okay. And we have, uh, who's missing? Uh, Don, Don's missing. Don went to get a snack or something. Yeah, so I'm going to be inputting the, uh, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait. We'll, we'll explain while everyone's here. I'm going to have to lean over. Unfortunately, I don't think Don will be here for explanation. But you won't think he'll be here for He'll be here for the next match. Well, I do want to. Theoretically. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Tier 1Q, the karma, thank you so much. Subbing for 60 months. Shout yeah, out. Don wants to get food. So Don wants to get food, so we're just going to go over this. Here's how this is going to work. We have a tournament of four chess champions, including our returning champion, Brandon Jones, from the last chess battle royale. This is how it's going to work. They're each going to play one game as white and one game as black against each other. If it is tied after that, each player wins one, or technically it's two draws, unlikely, they will go to a third Armageddon game, where one player has a slight time advantage, but a draw will go to the black pieces. It's unlikely, but I hope it occurs. Armageddon is very fun. Our first matchup here, Damiani and Jones. Our second matchup is going to be Blood versus Don, and then the winners of those two are going to go up. In the finals, each player has 10 minutes to make all of their moves. This clock here, keeping track of those. I can't see it, so someone will have to update me in those times. I don't know what's happening. If you run out of time, it doesn't matter how ahead you are on the chessboard, you will lose. If you get down to zero, you're done. Please keep an eye on that clock, it is incredibly important. Remember also to hit the button after you move. A lot of people forget that if they haven't played with the clock before, that's okay. In the meantime, I'll be over here on the leechess.com analysis board. I'll be manually entering their moves. The computer will be showing the best available line and who it thinks is winning at the time. And I'll be providing some hot chess commentary along with my co-commentator, Isla, who'll probably be joining me in Hello. just a second over here. I think we're probably ready to get started. Isla, how do you feel over there? Good. Ready. Feeling good? You're ready? Yep, everything's good. All right. Ready. Yeah, so we on honor system in terms of uh, chat. Yeah, don't look I at chat. See it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look at chat. Don't listen to me. Good. You guys are good? You ready? I didn't I'm even totally think ready. About chat. And when it's like, uh, <laughs> so it's Damiani's turn right now because it's up on his side, right? When he hits the button, the, you'll be ready to go. Okay. 
Ready? Have yeah, you so said I hit it first? and then you go. Though. Yes, that is correct. You ready? Okay. White yeah. goes first. White goes first. Here we go, everybody. We're going to start off. It's not counting. Oh, it's not counting? Ha ha ha. Well, yeah, that's the like thing. That's why I... Fun fact. Clark's I don't know how counting. clocks even work. Why isn't it going? We're off to a fantastic start here at the uh, Easy yeah, Allies sorry. Chess Tournament. Sorry. Oh, the song literally ended right as I held it. It's doing that What's thing again. Song? I gotta pop the batteries. Is it the thing again? Yeah, hold up. Okay, I know. Hold up. It's just got an electronic. Oh, it's like the end credits of a Fox Peak episode. It's like Chat that's gonna be driven too. Yeah. Off a of Box Peak episode, perfect. Epidemic sound I heavily associate with the endings of the Box Peak. Box Peak. It is. So uh, is that it? Royalty free, so if it, if we get if we get headphone bleed, we ready, can't ready. get DMCA. All right. Ah. All right. Hell Jones choose to open a very rare opening knight, moving out directly to F3, and he forgets to hit the button. That's going to be a very common thing, and a very rare counter move coming down here to C6. These are not common openings, though. Here we're transposing into a more modern system as well. All right, both players developing pieces nicely now. I like that. I'm having to manually transcribe these, so I have a little bit of work on my end to do. Ooh, moving the same piece twice in the opening. That is never advised. There's a saying, knight on the rim <laughs> is dim, and currently Jones, unfortunately. But then upon being immediately blundered, he could go ahead and take that with the knight, but will he see it? He's not really looking to take that pawn, but he goes on the wing, moving that out. That is generally considered a weak move. I know it's, it accelerates the rook's development, but it's not necessarily great. You want to get your minor pieces out first, minor pieces being your knights and your bishops, folks. Here that pawn is still hanging for Damiani. He sees, he doesn't see it, but then again, neither does Jones, so it doesn't matter. Both knights now moving out behind the pawns. Again, right here you can see on the board the recommended move is to take the pawn. We will see if he sees it, and he does see it now, taking advantage immediately going up the computer giving him a slight edge here striking out challenging that knight's position well now the thing isn't letting me well i don't know what's happening i'm trying to what oh god the, <laughs> oh god the analysis engine's freaking out i don't know what's happening oh boy uh, i'm trying to follow the thread here what's happening Looks like the bishop came out. Oh boy. Or we think we're good now. And then, okay, we're also bringing. Bishops generally tend to want to live on the Fienchetto right about here. But instead, both. Why won't it let me move these pieces? Oh, reconnecting. We might be having some internet problems. That oh. might be the issue. Uh, hang on. I can address that. Oh boy. They're just, they're just going. I might have to give live commentary off the seat. Of, you know, just. Okay, wait. All right. Uh. Looks like the knight came out on the previous move. Oh boy. Uh, this came out. The move order might have been rearranged there, but yes, I think we're good now. That looks accurate to me. I think we are set. We're gonna we're gonna hardwire this computer so that I can always move. We were having some issues yeah, there. Yeah, it's disconnecting before. Yeah, it was disconnecting before. Weird. Whose turn is it right now? It's Damiani's turn, I assume. Yeah, it is. Alright, so he sees the knight being attacked, moves it back. Great move there. Not quite where the computer wanted him to go. Currently we're at plus 1.6, showing that Jones has a pawn and a half advantage right now. But can he take advantage? He is slightly better developed, but he needs to get his queenside knight and bishop, uh, these pieces over here, developed. They're just sitting there doing nothing. Oh, but here, just like I said, it's like he can hear me. I hope he can't, though. Chooses to get that knight out. Here solidifying the pawn chain on the other side. Decent move, but again, we now have a plus 1.9 advantage for Jones. Isla, co-commentator, commentator, what's the clock situation looking like? I can't even see it. 836 on Damiani, 805 on Jones. So pretty even on time right now, but that can sneak up on you. Moving into enemy territory now, the knights are being connected, but he has hung the bishop over on this king side of the board. Will Damiani see it? That is a free piece, and it's a huge advantage. He doesn't see it. He moves the rook over. Not a bad move, but certainly not a free bishop. Oh, reconnecting. We're, we're still having some reconnecting issues over here. Is it still trying to use Wi-Fi? I don't, yeah, it might be. I think it is. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, and he sees it. Oh, he gets out of trouble. Massive potential miss there for Damiani. He had a massive advantage if he just saw that the bishop was under attack. But Jones moving the bishop out of danger's way. Again, we are at near equality. Computer showing plus 0 0.2, basically completely even. 
I was, wonder if it's actually the, their server or something, because it's... Usually, uh, it usually Lee, Lee Chess's server is usually very, very My solid. My computer was being weird before. I mean, it's, it's uh. periodically popping up down there. Switch it from that to the Ethernet. Can you do it from here? Usually, if it usually loads it up, just I don't know what do it automatically on. when it plugs in. Network and internet settings, or just turn off Wi-Fi? Yeah, I guess. Try that. <clears throat> oh boy, I'm missing what's happening here. What just happened? Where? Uh, damn it. Oh, I can't see where he went. Uh, where did Black go? I didn't see Oh, wait, it. he moved his knight up. Moved his knight there, and then uh, where did... Is it Can we pause the clock? No, no, it's fine. But it's here. It's, it's not connecting at all now. Can we pause it for a second? Uh, yes. We're going to pause the game, guys. So it guys. can be done. Can pause it. Okay. The game is no paused. Thinking. No thinking. No thinking. Yeah. Up? So it's it's not connected at all now. It doesn't time matter. Time This is, this is, not this is bonus time that will be added it to says the second round. It's not actually connected. <laughs> we should time this. Right? So the analysis board needs steady internet and it's So no looking. Out. No thinking. Oh, well. should time this time because it will be added to our match, won't it? No. Bonus thinking time? No. <laughs> well, why won't it just automatically use the. It's not. This is not giving it internet. But it. It should be. It, it was giving the Switch internet, so... <laughs> this ain't my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll switch it to the... Yeah, try try to the lower version. Oh, yeah, that could be. Chat now knows the name of our Wi-Fi. Mm. <laughs> really? Is the whole screen up there? All right, let's, let's give Just it a this, shot. Just this chess part. All right. Game is resumed. Go for it, guys. It's your turn. My turn. So. Yes, I believe so. All right. I think we're at the current correct board state. I've been struggling to All keep right. this going. Yeah, let me know if you're... Yeah, yeah it's you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. it says, yeah. So he's got to move the knight out of way. It's being attacked, but Jones now with a very significant advantage, plus 3.1 currently. Oh, he doesn't see it. The bishop coming out. Not really striking at anything in particular, but Jones not taking advantage. The knight is, oh my goodness. Why does he do that? Oh no. All right, Damiani still needs to get that knight out of there. You can see it over here. This knight needs to come back to that square. It's being directly challenged by the pawn. Will he see it? He does. A great opportunity, but he jumps in where the bishop could take it. He jumps right in. The bishop can just take that. This is, this is crazy. Brandon Jones, maybe a little bit rusty, our previous champion. He's got to see it. The bishop can just take the piece. Classic brand manager. I agree, Tetsuo47. He does see He sees it. He just takes the piece. Interestingly, that was not even the recommended move for the computer, but still very, very strong, showing as white plus nine, which is basically a queen up. Move the rook into the game. Remember, the piece... The move in this version of the game is not locked in until the clock button is pressed. So as long as Damiani doesn't hit that clock button, what he just did is totally okay. Now, because Damiani moved his rook, his kingside castling privileges are gone, but queenside castling right now wouldn't help much either because the pawns are absolutely super loose. He pushes a pawn forward. We're going to now plus 11. Plus 11. If he brings the knight in, he's going to win a rook, but he probably doesn't see that. That's kind of a difficult fork to see challenges that knight as well. It's not going to help his bishop get out of there, but it, he can go ahead and trade knights now, which is what the computer recommends. It might help his position a little bit, and he does do it. He does trade the knights. It's going to go and recapture with the pawn, but it does create an attack on the bishop as well, but bishop captures pawn, and everything is fine. Still plus 9.8 right now for our brand manager, still leading heavily, but as you've seen, these games have wild swings in them. Literally anything is possible. And remember, the clock is always the albatross over these players next. They are not used to the clock. They are not veterans with the clock. I would even imagine that neither of them is even thinking about that right now. I'm very curious to see if they can keep it up. And this game does look like it's going a little bit of the distance. Ooh, he pulls that back. The pawn would have been able to capture right there. Yeah, yeah he sees it. He sees it. He sees it. Remember, plus 9.8 right now. Computer recommending pawn takes pawn on g5 right over here. You guys can see. It's going to free up the rook file for uh, Damiani's rook on the f file, but easily challenged, of course, by the rook over here on h1. He could just swing it over, no problem. Jones looking for an effective plan of attack right now. He is burning some time. 
Sometimes these games do come down to the clock. These things don't seem like a big deal right now. He wants to move that rook out. He does move it up to the third rank and a very quick strike pawn taking pawn right back. And it looks like pawn takes back. Currently defended by the knight, so the rook can't take it. Oh, but the bishop double attacking it there. Currently still plus nine up for Jones. Now you don't necessarily want to take it with the knight. It would be a trade. And generally bishops are considered a little better in the end game than knights, but the computer's recommending just a kick with the move e3. Trading would be fine though. Ooh, I don't love that move. Uh, you can see the computer really hates it as well, really loosening the protection around the king, which is not castled. Uh, in the last chess tournament, very few times, very few, uh, very rarely would players castle their king to safety, which, while not a great decision, does make for some wild and interesting chess games. Hoping we're going to get those as well. Hopefully, I believe our board position is accurate. I, be I believe that's correct. If it ever gets out of sync, we're pretty screwed. But hey, we'll deal with it as it comes. Oh, that is the computer recommended move from Damiani challenging that knight. I do love to see that. Now the natural reaction is to just move that knight away probably to capture the bishop. Computer recommending bishop takes bishop either way is probably fine, but one way or the other he has to deal with this threat. Isla, can I get a clock check? Uh, 458 on Brandon. So just about even more than half of Brandon's time has elapsed. We're still in the middle game here. Queens haven't even moved. This could come down to a time scramble. Uh, if we do get to that, and I cannot effectively... Oh, and he captures the knight, but counter-capturing the bishop. Now both... Oh, no! There's technically a mate in three for Damiani! doesn't do that. This is a very difficult mate in three to see, but you can see there's no protection for either king, which is what is allowing that. He does take the pawn. Now white has to get that queen out for protection. You can go ahead and check the black king on h5. Both kings with zero protection on the board. Literally anything can happen right now. The queen is coming out, but to take that pawn... That's, that's not a great move. Both players' queens could mount a massive attack on the enemy king. There's a fork. If this queen moves here, that queen then attacks the bishop and the king at the same time. It would win the piece, but it doesn't look like he sees that. Looking like he's going to move the black bishop instead. Technically, Jones is plus five right now, but that any move is going to have wild swings. You guys can see this bar on your screen as well. It is wild right now. Jabba Wops, because chess is the most stressful game. That's why you're stressed. Chess is fucking wild. Freddy Fingers 26, shout out. Shout out for the sub. Right now, this game is tense. It is what chess players call sharp, which is when a game is sharp, it means any move can suddenly swing it in favor of one player or the other. The rook advancing, but he just puts it right in the path of the white bishop. He puts it right in the path of the white bishop, but no, he doesn't see it. The pawn moves up. The queen again can come down to h4. That's the recommended move, but oh my god, both kings just standing there, facing off against each other. No defenses whatsoever. This shit is wild. <laughs> both kings are just... <laughs> Sorry. This is wild. Okay, pawn coming into capture over here. We're plus 13.6, but who knows what that even means in this game. It's recommending the rook swing over to e3 for a king check but like i mean there's so many opportunities to check the black king from a variety of directions white's bishop still basically hanging from the throat of a fork on h3 oh my god time is also starting to become a huge factor i can't imagine finally he sees the the taking of the rook there now plus 13.3 for jones plus 14.2 the engine saying still looking for that check on h4. Damiani still not out of this here. Looks like he's going to get his rook involved into the game. Let's see what he let's see what he chooses. I think Damiani's best chance now is to probably play for a time win against Brandon Jones, who is, I believe, lower on time. Oh, finally getting the queen in there, but an easy check. But now the rook coming over will win the black queen because it'll be pinned to the black king. If you see here, it's right going up against the king. He can't hear me, so do I have to say, how, how do I let him know? You don't have to say check. Okay. That is not a thing in chess. <laughs> 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 you 
He should be aware that it's oh. check. <laughs> but if he comes over and blocks the check with the rook, he's going to win the black queen, and that's going to be all she wrote. Will he find it, or will he just move the king out of the way? He can also just block with the queen. Really, any move is probably fine here. Technically, it's made in 14, apparently, according to the engine. That doesn't mean you think he does move the king up. That is a little dangerous. His advantage slipping down to just plus 10. I say just plus 10. That's a crushing advantage in any normal game, but hey, whatever. Here we go. The bishop moving back here to challenge maybe some flight squares from the king. Now a possible skewer. If the queen comes across, it's going to make the king step out of the way and win the rook on a8. Will he find that move? That's a little bit more of an advanced move, but hey, Brandon Jones, the brand manager, has shocked me before. What will it be? Isla, time check. Uh, Jones, 253. Damiani, 314. Oh my god, time is slipping down the rook, does come, that is going to win the black queen right there. Fantastic move from the brand manager, he sees it. Black is in trouble, now all brand manager needs to do is manage his time effectively, and he should win this first game as the white pieces. He'll go up 1-0 against Damiani. Oh, he tries to move the, the bishop into intercept, but that's not going to change anything. All the rook has to do is take that, and he's in the exact same position as he was in before. It should be rook takes e4 right here, and it's just an absolutely crushing position. Damiani's got to hope to stay alive. He does just take it. That is the correct move. It's mate in five, technically. But can he find it? Jones, our champion from the last chess tournament, showing his medal. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. That oh, is an yeah, illegal yeah. move. Sorry. <laughs> the, uh, the ref having to jump in there. <laughs> All right, so he doesn't even address it technically. The rook can just come down and take the queen. Technically, ooh, a crushing move there. If the queen comes down, the, the queen cannot recapture because it's pinned by the white rook to the black king. Uh, that's a tough move to find. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he found it. Holy shit. I just spit on the screen. <laughs> what a move. What a move. It's mate in three, baby. I think it's over. I think it's over. The queen takes queen. He sees it. Made in two. This should be over. It looks like we're going to see a checkmate very shortly. Very shortly indeed. There's only one legal move right now for Damiani. He shouldn't even be thinking about this. He should immediately play oh, yeah, that's over. King oh. Dave resigns. No, no, that's fine. Right. That's yeah. fine. An intense game. Yeah, music, I can't. Is, is a part yeah. of the experience. <laughs> <laughs> what are you listening to? What are you listening to? Wait, in now there? walking down the street, yeah, and I'm thinking about what. Can we get something without lyrics? What? Can we get something without lyrics? I thought I picked this because I thought it wouldn't have lyrics. Uh, no, it's per, it's 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 so right, unlike everybody else. Lyrics, so we're not I done. You yeah, played as white, but we're gonna lyrics. switch positions here. You're gonna play one as black. You're gonna play one as white. Cable. Right, right, right. But we don't need that Ethernet. Right? Uh, we're not using it currently, no. So. Well, and I'm making moves. Oops, it. my bishop's in danger. What am I gonna do <laughs> now? Oh, that was a crazy game. All sorts of pieces happened. Woo! The Kings was no defense in the center I, of the I, board. That break completely made me forgot what I was doing. He like yeah. moved it out of the way. I'm like, ah, I had a, <laughs> this I had a plan. Like into this hole. Oh no no no! Or uh, I was gonna say just switch sides. Because technically, uh, technically, yeah. Let's to make it similar to the board. We we need it should gotcha. still be set up over here. Otherwise, it'll be reversed on my board. Really, really confusing for me. Um, oh, okay, right. And we wouldn't want to confuse. You. It's tough. I gotta enter in all the moves, and I gotta like at, in the beginning the yeah. when it was like reconnecting, connecting. It was. Preventing. I gotta admit, I really enjoy you being just completely right on top of my every move. It's fun. <laughs> like I'm, I move my hand, and you're like, <gasps> <laughs> "What's it gonna be, huh?" I mean, yeah, this is not the, the uh, tournament environment here, yeah. Uh, but uh, it's all good. Let me reset the clock here for Boink. you guys. Boink. You were, you were, uh, you know, came down to about two minutes each there. Yeah, yeah you're almost. Now, as a reminder, if Damiani wins this match, we're going to go into Queen Armageddon. In oh, it's going to be a blitz Ooh. match. Are these on the moon? Uh, Queen Check, gets its own Check color. Lines. Queen gets its own color. We're going to send people into space to hit an asteroid. Wait, something's wrong here. Queen gets its own color. <laughs> okay. So then is it for the tournament? Gonna is it, be a uh, real sexy match at chess. Whoever wins this 
Is well, they'll go to the finals. Single elimination? Yeah, Do single elimination. Super? Okay, we single. don't have a loser. Now, if Damiani wins this, we're going to Armageddon, which will be a blitz match, super fast. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Headphones on, boys. So Damiani goes first attack? Yes. Why wait, do we oh, wait, can I ask one question? Real yes. Quick? What's a queen side? Uh, you said queen side castle. So, what is that? Uh, so castling can occur uh, if there's, t yeah. if you know the king will move yeah. two spaces over. This is a king side yeah. castle. That's the most common form of castling. Yes. But you can also do it the other way. If all three of these pieces clear out. Oh, you can? You can go that way. I never knew that. It's rarer, but it can happen. I didn't even know that was legal. But all those pieces gotta be out of the way. They gotta be out of the way. You can't do it out of check, through check, or into check as well. Oh! Yeah. And yeah. the king of the I never knew that. Never they have never, yeah, these pieces, you can't like do that and then Right, castle. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Alright, He was out during and in all at the same time, man. It was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Alright. I've never seen someone in check go outside and inside right. of check. I don't think I would know where to put it. Alright, here we go. It was open. And we begin Damiani taking the white pieces. And again, I believe this has, that is considered the weakest possible opening move is white. I believe G4, it's either B4 or G4, are the weakest. And we counter with a modern over there. Bishop immediately coming out. You want to have the pawn here so that these pieces support each other. And then the bishop immediately coming to a strange square. Again, you want to have it on the diagonal. And he oh. immediately strikes in. And that's why you want to do it. What? That was like a trap. That was like a trap from Damiani. We're already plus 5.9. Look the F out. Oh. I didn't even, it was happening so fast. I just, I had a, okay, he's going to push the pawn to try and trap to entomb the bishop here. You won't be able to see the bishop get out. Eventually that knight's going to get out of the way and then the queen can capture it. It's a good long-term plan to recap, to recoup some of those losses. I like what Jones is doing there. Over here, it looks like we're going to have b4 played, no b3. That's a much better move. I appreciate that. But already a strong opening advantage for Damiani here, plus 5.7 according to the computer. I like this move. It's going to let this bishop come to the long diagonal. It's going to try a similar move on the other side of the board. He's going to see if he can get him twice. <laughs> Let's go. Brand manager playing a little too fast. Maybe he got overconfident from his previous crushing victory. Queen coming there, but the queen won't be able to attack the bishop from this angle, so I'm not super sure. You know, unless, oh, he wants to come in over here, maybe? I don't see it, I don't love that move. And as you can see, the computer doesn't love it either. Great development move there from Damiani, I like it. Same thing over here, though, from Brandon Jones, knights coming out, that's what you want to see, minor pieces getting into the game. Computer recommending the pawn challenging the knight's position there, which, oh, oh, looks like he's going to play computer perfect move. Damiani's on freaking fire this game, folks. He is out for vengeance. The knight now is going to have to retreat, but Jones can't be flustered by his earlier mistake. That's what happens in chess so frequently. You make one error, and then all of a sudden your mental fortitude and composure goes to hell. He's got to get that knight out of the way, but he might just be scattered right now. Where's he going to put it? Okay, he does see it. And he moves it to the edge of the board. Remember, guys, the old saying, knight on the rim is dim. That's what they say. Not a great position for the knight. You can see Damiani's advantage, according to the computer, going even higher. 7.9. Look out. Oh, excellent development move. Again, a computer-recommended move. Damiani's in the freaking matrix right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, technically, he's not threatening... The bishop is protecting that pawn, so is the knight. But you never know. That's a great position for the bishop to be in for later. Jones looking for a way to punish this bishop in the corner, but it's not that easy to do. He's going to have to get this pawn out of the way. Over here, he pushes his pawn to challenge the white pawn. I don't love that move. White here, I mean, it recommends a pawn development. I love getting the, the knight out as well. Castling would be decent, though this pawn is so far out. I would get the knight out and then try and castle queenside like we just discussed. Would actually be a pretty good plan of attack here for white, solidifying his position and making sure that Jones doesn't have any sneaky traps up his sleeve. We're plus 8.2 now. Uh, it's Fianchetto here, 92. The long diagonal is called the Fianchetto when you Fianchetto your bishop. And I think one of the purposes of this here is even after you take take, it is blunting this bishop's attack because this particular pawn chain is going to be preventing the bishop from ever taking that rook, which is a good move. I like to see that. Their time is equal now. Their time is now equal. I, I apologize for kind of whispering here. I don't want uh, the opponents here to kind of hear my voice. They're listening to music. Looks like the 
knight just moving into the center of the board there. That's a little bit of a weakening position. It blocks the bishop's diagonal, and it's easily kind of kicked away. Oh, and the pawn taking there. Not a bad move at all. Can't forget to hit that clock. Why is my computer playing so loud? My com yeah, it's really loud. It can you can, virus can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying not to, like, I want to, like, call out. I want to scream, you know, but they're going to hear me. <laughs> the knight bouncing all over the board right now. You never want to move a piece multiple times when you still have other pieces back here to develop. These pawns haven't moved at all. You really want to see some of that before you start bouncing this knight all around the board. But, hey, Damiani's been hitting computer-accurate moves. What do I know? Damiani's the chess master here right now. But can he keep it up? His advantage is slightly decreased from earlier. It's just plus five right now, which is approximately equal to a rook. For everyone that's a little confused by the numerical system, a pawn is approximately one point. A bishop and a knight are worth approximately three points. A rook, oh boy, he's going. The knight comes in, immediately checks the king, but the, it's, that's not a great move there. It's double defended. I don't think Damiani saw it's defended from two sides. All Brandon is looking sad right now, but all he has to do is take it. All he has to do is take it, and he does, and he does. Damiani's shaking his head. Damiani's shaking his head. He knows he messed up, and now his advantage is down to plus two. Damiani making a key mistake there. He's got to develop his pieces. <laughs> Jones adjusting his volume a little bit. We don't know what's playing in there. Could be anything. This is not. These are not the conditions under which tournament chess is played, I assure you. <laughs> Looks like we're going to get a queen pawn moving up based on Damiani's posture, but he's backing away from it. It's very interesting to see the body language of these players. You can see whether they're sure of themselves, whether they hesitate, what they're feeling, and the knight does come out. That's a great move right there. I love to see it. Getting that knight out there ready for revealed attacks later, discovered attacks they're called. I can see Jones still looking for a way to punish that bishop in the corner. Again, the computer recommending this move, which is great because then the knight can come out and then finally the queen can get back and swing over and take that bishop. It's a, it's, a, it's a long convoluted plan, but remember, that white bishop can't get out, so he has really as much time as he wants. I think Jones might be seeing that right now. If he pushes the pawn up, the deep pawn up, he's going to have a good shot of recapturing that bishop. He's laughing to himself. I don't know if he can hear me right now. I hope he can't, because that would be bad. can feel these players are under pressure right now. They feel a knight coming out. Not a bad move. Getting it up there. Jones 618, Damiani 657. Damiani with a slight time edge, but still plenty of time to go. Thank you, Vassal. That's very nice to hear. Chess rules, and you should totally get into it. <laughs> okay, um, this move right here, this is a that's a crazy move. He, it would be sacrificing the knight to either one of these two pieces because then now notice that the now that the knight has moved, that bishop would have a free attack on the rook. So it's basically a distraction technique. You move the knight up, you hope he doesn't respond. Oh, he has to respond to it because it'd be hitting the queen. That is a crazy move. It's going to be tough for Damiati to find, but it would be crazy if he did. He's played some computer accurate moves earlier this game. But if he notices that the bishop is eyeing up the rook from, it's called an x-ray attack, through his own knight, Oh my god, well he moved it. No, good move, good move. It's not precisely correct, but it does open up the diagonal attack on the rook. And he doesn't see it. He pushes the pawn. Will Damiani pounce? Will Damiani pounce on this? He's got to see it. Certainly he moved the knight last, last move just to do this, right? Does he see it? Oh my goodness. This, this would be a crazy... Because both bishops from their respective fianchettos would be killing the enemy rooks in the corners if he... Oh, he, I don't think he sees it. Does he see it? Oh, my God. I can't, I can't be too energetic because maybe they'll know that something is amiss. But he sees... He sees it! <laughs> I see Jones in agony right now. Jones sees it. It's happened twice in one game. <laughs> Jones is furious with himself right now. Jones just got absolutely sniped from across the board. It's so hard to see those long-range moves. The knight coming over the... Oh, no, chow. The, the confidence right now emanating from Damiani, moving the knight in in a second to check that black king. 
castling privileges are going to be gone. Not that either of these players were going to castle anyway, so like whatever, but, you know, this is absolute chaos right here, folks. Oh, wait. I couldn't do that because I was in check. You're in check now, yeah. What was your... That just that just happened, right? Oh, okay. So, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The knight just moved there. Got it, got yeah. It. That music sounds off. The music, yeah. It sounds awful. <laughs> yeah. What are you playing for these guys over here? It's, it's like a handicap. <laughs> Whoever likes electronic music more is in an advantage. <laughs> or the king moving up to try and challenge the knight, but that I mean, it's yeah. He he comes right over, no problem, taking that pawn. Can I wear a motorcycle helmet instead? I mean, if you want to. <laughs> the knight here. moving in, though. Look out. Checking the Black King himself. It's not going to do much, but it does prevent castling. It's probably not a horrible move. King's going to come over. The knight's going to have to retreat. Or, wait a minute. Some Black Queen shenanigans can occur. It's worth noting that the white rook over here is very vulnerable if the white queen... Uh, you know, black or Black Queen can get on something like this square here. That'd be good. Something just happened that I missed it. Oh, we moved the king back. Got it. Ooh, kind of like a weird king fork there. Interesting move. But he makes the right move. Again, computer accurate Damiani this game is absolutely crushing it. King moves into the corner, but no protection. The only thing maybe saving the Black King right now is that the White Queen can't get out. The White Queen is just entombed right now. He's got to get some of those pawns out of the way. If the Queen were able to come into the attack right now, it would be absolutely devastating. Keep in mind, too, the White King can take the end. He does. Damiani again with the computer-accurate move. What is happening? Damiani has become a cyborg. <laughs> truly, truly remarkable. Yeah, again, I'm sorry I'm not speaking too loudly. I want to be I want to be energetic, but these guys are wearing headphones with music in it right now to try and they drown like out my voice. They like the intense whisper. Oh, they whispering. like they like the intense whisper. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Check the reflections in the room. I don't know, there could be some crazy thing happening. That that TV is reflective. Yeah, can you see the Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Could, I think he's one with the computer is no, what I think is happening. I've been watching his eyes. He's he's just doing it. No, he's just doing it. Okay, a good move there, bringing it out. That's going to allow the White Queen to finally come out from behind her shield wall. John Looks like the computer... Uh, Damiani's got the time lead? Yeah. Yeah. Not unexpected here. Okay, not a good move. Oh boy, look at the speed. But that is giving up the White Knight there, and, and Jones just pounces on that. That's a free knight. Maybe playing a little too quick there, Damiani. Still plus 17.1 in theory. <laughs> and you'll notice that white bishop been hanging out in the corner forever. All black has to do is get that knight out of the way, probably right over here, and then that can be taken. Another interesting thing to note is that these rooks still in the back, not able to join the attack. Um, you really want to maybe swing this over and then get the king in the corner for extra safety, and then both of those pieces would be rolling against the black king. Uh, very, very dangerous stuff right now for Damiani, which or dangerous for Jones. Which, by the way, if Damiani wins this, y'all should be rooting for that, because that means Armageddon, y'all. Three-minute blitz game. That's going to be the craziest shit you've ever seen. Yeah, y'all should be rooting for Damiani right now. <laughs> Armageddon, I'm just going to say it, fucks. <laughs> Time almost equal now. Uh, looks like we... Okay, cool, got it. Time is almost equal. Hey, remember, games have been lost in worse positions. Trying to trade off the queens right now. I actually like that move. Uh, it's going to reduce Damiani's attacking power. Damiani should probably refuse to trade it, or at least... Oh, yeah. Get it, Damiani. Oh, he can't do that. Uh-uh. Oh, oh. Can't do that. Where was it? Here. Down I'm sorry. Here. I said get it, Damiani. It was a legal move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it, he really has to either move it back or trade the queens here. <laughs> He has to move it back or trade. If he moves it back, the hope is that after it captures, the pawn would recapture and open up the attack on the king from the rook through there. But it looks like he doesn't do that. Looks like, oh, oh! A str an interesting move. He can't take the rook because these rooks are defending each other along the back rank. But I think, remember, the point here is to make weird, interesting moves and try and win on time. What's our time check, Isla? Uh, Damian, just hit three. Jones is at 316. 
So this is this might come down to a time scramble here. He's gonna no. take a pawn, but yeah. That's check right there. He sees it. He sees it. He's gonna he doesn't want to move it back. That would be a rough move. It would cut off the rooks defense of each other. In fact, that would be a massive blunder, but he makes the right move, he moves it up. Ooh, that's a computer accurate move, folks. Look out. This game is not over. 302, they, they know the time. Oh, now the bishop comes in, or the queen comes in. No, now that it's no longer pinned by the black queen to the white king. Still plus 16.3 over here for Damiani, but there is danger. There is still danger. The white king is relatively unprotected. Anything can happen. And, of course, as you know, time is ticking down. Time is ticking down. Jones right now taking some time to think. He might not have that. His best strategy is probably to make very quick moves. 233, both of them? They're exactly even on time. Challenging the rook there, but it's going to come up, and that is going to be... That is actually a mate in six from the computer. Allowing the rook to join the attack is going to be devastating against the black king. If Damiani moves that rook up to capture the pawn, it might be lights out in just a few moves. But they're low on time. It is hard to find these things when you're in the tank. The queen going down to check. That's still mate in five. That's technical. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget that, Damiani. <laughs> Moves the king up and into the corner. Look out. Oh, he swings over. Takes the knight. That was a fork, folks. Wasn't technically the computer accurate move, but slowly by slowly whittling away Jones's chances. Currently, it's recommending to simply take the rook over there. Bishop takes rook on d1. He does see it. Look out, folks. Isla, time. Uh, Jones 203, Damiani 150. Ooh. Look out, sub two minutes here, folks. Ooh. That was a computer accurate move. Well, I've said that several times this match. <laughs> <laughs> That's a check. Remember, these checks are forcing Brandon to drain precious seconds off of his clock. Computer's recommending going back into the corner. It doesn't. The king moves, advances forward. Bishop, now that's a quick move from Damiani. That's exactly what he has to do. That does technically create a pin on the white bishop, though. That's interesting. Computer's saying it's not a problem, but they're not computers, except for Damiani, half the time, apparently. Jones 130, Damiani 140. Jones has to make quick moves. His only real chance of winning this game is on time. Gobbling a pawn, but there's bigger problems than that. <laughs> Remember, he just left the defense of the bishop. If he doesn't see it, that is with a check, though. Made in six again, but again, that's very hard to actually puzzle out in the midst of a game, especially in time pressure. Whew. Damiani is correctly staying ahead on time. That's the way to pressure your opponent. Queen moves, king moves back. Now he takes the bishop. Look at the speed. Look at the confidence that Damiani. Jones, one minute. 59. One, we are under a minute here. <laughs> Computer accurate is going to be a meme, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Dami, I'm not even, I'm going to have to abandon computer analysis during the Blitz game during Armageddon because it's going to be too fast. I'm not going to be able to follow it. Taking again, gobbling a pawn, mate in five. He's just, all Damian has to do is make quick moves here and he's going to be good. All Damian has to do is make quick moves. That's a check. That's a forced queen trade. That is a forced queen trade. Fantastic move from Damiani. That's going to pretty much end any hope. Yeah, he sees that he's got a trade. That's a forced forced queen trade. Rook takes. Move quick, gentlemen. Oh, he's trying to advance the pawns. <laughs> Going for a promotion. Look out. Hey. Oh, look, it's making him think. Quick check. King is gonna go. How much How much time? Uh, Jones has 17 seconds. 17 seconds. Oh, oh, he's gonna be fine. <laughs> Looks like he's going to move this rook to behind the pawn. That's a great move. That is a great move. It's going to have to go. Oh, ah. the bishop takes it. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> so it's uh, gone out of time, folks. Ten seconds. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> he resigns. <laughs> Woo! Lightning round, lightning round, let's do it. Yo, do you know how many times he made, like, the computer-accurate move? Like, it happened, oh. like, ten times, that game. Ch channeling his Final Fantasy XIV Ultimate Experience. All right, we don't have a lot of time. we got to set this up right. real quick. Uh, uh, all right, hold yeah, on, I before you move. Staying on the same side. Oh, hold on, maybe. Pick one, Damiani. Uh, you're black, switch sides. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna modify this clock. This is going to be a three-minute game. Should, since it keeps freaking out, should we just do ten and just all say when it hits seven? No, it'll be three minutes. Okay. So are there points for the pieces taken, or it's just uh, time? Just time, and who wins? The points are only a system of keeping track in the computer. So the pieces are just have no value, right? I mean, they have approximate value, but it's always relative to the position. All right, folks, we're going into Armageddon. This is how it works. This is a blitz game, three minutes per side. It is going to be fast. I don't know if I can keep track in the computer. I might just have to give live commentary from the board and my own brain. I apologize if I mess things up. Uh, white has a slight advantage. So in this game, theoretically, if there is a draw, black technically wins. So there's no draw officially. There will be a winner one way or the other. So Damiani, in the case of a draw, will win. Wait, bishops, knights? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, queens on their own colors. This is wrong. Oh, no, no, no. The... no, 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 you had it right, oh, sorry, okay. that was wrong. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's what I thought, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, Alright, guys, uh, hold on. What does it do, hold on, sorry. This is what I was talking about. It's boring. Okay, uh, y'all gonna have three minutes, it's gonna go fast. Okay. It's gonna be a fast mm -hmm. game, watch mm -hmm. your time, it's mm -hmm. gonna come down to time. Mm -hmm. Alright, you actually have one second left, because whatever, ready? So he's going first. He's going first. Go. I'm going to give live, screw the, screw the screen. I'm giving live commentary here. Starts off with a knight out. Here we go. Pawn up again. Weird pawn openings from Damiani. You don't want to move a piece twice in the opening, but he does trying to just strike out really quickly at that pawn, which is currently unprotected, but Damiani does protect it. Uh, transposing into a decent position. He wants to put the bishop on g7. Moving the pawn forward to challenge, exactly like I just said, bishop to g7. Love to see that from Damiani. Challenging the knight. Oh, he sees it. He moves away. But again, forcing these extra moves, trying to get that knight out. It's going to challenge it again. I love these moves because it's going to drain time from Jones's clock. He's having to constantly respond to these pawn moves, challenging his knight. His knight's going to have to keep bouncing around. He's not getting any development in the meantime. He doesn't see... Oh, he does see it. Okay. Oh, no. Knight on the rim is... Damn, it's happened every single game so far. These quick pawn moves from Damiani. He knows what he's doing. Brandon having to sit there and, like, think <coughs> over those losing seconds of every move. You really want to make these quick... Standard pawn move there, I would have liked to have seen it to come out to the fourth rank, not the third, and the bishop challenging that. Again, the bishop wants to be on the fianchetto, the long diagonal. Good bishop development move there to e3 from Jones. I like to see it. I'm going to lean in over here. I still can't see it. The angle's weird. Isla, you're going to have to give me some crazy time updates from time to time. Uh, yeah. Queen. 227214. Got it. 214 already. Good development move from Jones, but again, it's all going to come down to speed in this game. It almost has nothing to do with actual chess, <laughs> unless you're <laughs> probably at a higher level. So it's going to be fast moves, forcing your opponent to think about things. That's what's going to win this game right now for one of these two champions. Remember, Brandon Jones, the previous champion of our chess tournament, could be knocked out in the first round from Damiani here in this Armageddon game. Moving it forward, looking to reposition the bishop over to h6. Does so. Don't love it because the pawn on f4 is kind of blunting that attack from there. Uh, but you know what, just making a move quickly is probably the best thing you can do in this case. Over here, pawn moving up again to b4. It's unsupported. The knight's going to come into, well, there's no hole on e4 because it's protected from the white knight. But it might bounce it in either. Instead, he goes to the other side to g4, attacking the bishop on e3. And he, see, oh, and he sees it. Look out, folks. That's a devastating move, attacking both the queen and the bishop to either side of the white king. He's going to have to save the queen. It's the better piece. But a fantastic move there from Damiani. Look out. This man has merged with the machines, and he might be on the verge of taking down our previous champion. Takes the oh, queen what check. What am I doing? Check. I doing? Oh my goodness. Just quickly, just quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Isla, time check. Two minutes, 123. Oh, one, uh, 123 for whom? I'm doing them left to right. So Damiani first, Jones second. Got it. So Jones also down on time, forced to think about these moves. To have any hope at all, he just has to move quickly. But he is down. If I had to give a computer estimation at this point, 
minus 10, minus 13, something crushing for Damiani. But again, it's all about the time here. He's looking, he's just taking, he's tick, 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 tick. He's got to move. Oh, this is Damiani's turn. Just kidding. Well, still, he got to move. <laughs> and the queen moves out, but that lot, losing some precious time there from Damiani. 131, 110. All right, so we're getting a little closer, but Brandon's still taking the time to think about these moves. It is not going to come down to a checkmate. He just has to do stuff. Just do something, buddy. Just do something. I can't yell because he'll hear me. Oh, my God. Stop thinking. Just hit the clock. Just hit the... Oh, my God. <laughs> God. Just, just, he's, oh my god. He, oh, this is taking so long. He, he went to the wrong side to hit the clock button. 48, only 48 seconds for Jones here. Uh, looks like, I mean, he could have, he couldn't have taken the pawn on d7 because the knight is guarding that. Honestly, he should probably just pawn takes pawn over there at the nearest opportunity. But Damiani now also taking a little bit of a long time. He's looking. He's looking for, I don't know what he's looking for. He just has to move. Yeah, the bishop can take the, oh, he sees it. He sees that. A great move. Should be recapturing with the pawn right now. Pawn oh, takes four, d3. 45. Yeah, that, there you go. Hit that button. Hit that button. Move quick. Quick hands. We'll do it. Queen coming in, capturing the knight. Damiani looking like a champion, but can he keep the time edge? One minute to 35 seconds. It's not over yet. Challenging the bishop. Bishop retreating over to d2. 55. Still no immediate threats of checkmate. And the pawn takes. That's a check. He's going to have to respond to that knight coming out. Kind of a free development move there from Damiani. But very fast. That's what you love to see. 54, 23. Jones is ticking away. 20, Only 21 19. seconds. He's just jamming. He's jamming to whatever music is playing in there. He's having a great time. But he's going to lose this match. Our previous champion is going to go down. The knight coming in. Challenging the queen. That's check. He's going to have to just move back, I would say, to G1. Nine. Ten seconds. He's going to go down right now. Six. Another check. I mean, he can take the bishop, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be out of time. That's a good... That's, you, you, play, you play that in bullet chess to Two force seconds. it. Doesn't matter. Time. Game is over! <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Damiani! Woo! Absolutely <laughs> savage! Yeah. Not ultimate, but savage! <laughs> Oh, Sir, man. well played. Let's see how this goes, baby. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay, so. Woo! Blood and Woo! This game, Damiani. <laughs> Damiani might be the new chess emperor, Awkward Renegade. All right, our next two semifinalists coming in. Uh, we're going to determine who goes first here. No one look. All right, blood, pick a hand. <laughs> You're the white pieces over here. You're there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, queens on their own color. They are looking good, looking good. Let me reset this to okay. 10 minutes. Um, there might be a night filter on my laptop. A night filter? The, like, night eyes thing. Yeah. Night filter. You're a night filter. <laughs> Are people betting on these matches? I think they're probably. Uh, probably. Sick. <laughs> I have spent some time in Aorzia Avatar Toth. I was approached about taking the call. <laughs> Whoa! <What? laughs> By whomst? <laughs> All right, you guys are certainly aware of what's been going on. You've been watching from the back. Uh, these are ten, 10 minutes apiece. Obviously, white. We're going to play another game sure. after this where we switch. Any questions? So the first move, I just have one ever. Uh, just move and hit the button. Okay, yeah, so there's it. no value to pieces, right? So we're not looking. You're, you're trying to checkmate the opponent. We're just looking for you're looking for checkmate. Uh, the points are just something that we use to kind of estimate who's ahead. Uh, it's not super important. Let me refresh this board real quick here, guys. Good luck, bud. Yes. Yeah. It's got a nice little handshake in the center yeah, for sportsmanship. Oh, he's got the shades! <laughs> Love to see it. All right. Whenever you. This is loud. Yeah. Well, it's got to be a little loud. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me, Blood? Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Whenever you're ready, sir. Okay. 
when he opens up. Ooh, I think he took some advice back from when I was commentating, choosing not to go G4, but G3, setting up for the early Fian Keto. Ooh, Don is so intimidating with those shades. I gotta tell you, I'm already freaked out by them, and I'm not even playing the game. A good development. Gotta oh. hit that button. It's, it's, you know, they'll get used to it. <laughs> um, knight moving out, good development move there. You want to see the bishop come very quickly, which prevents a quick retaliation on b6. Shoring up that pawn chain there, kind of making it difficult for this bishop to get out, though. But he, all right, he does put that bishop there. Good move, strong central play. Look how confident Don is. I yeah, think it's yeah. either the shades or uh, he's yeah. just, when he, he's just like slow and smooth, like he's not in a hurry. He's ready to go on anyone. Oh, and a very strange move there. That's, I don't know about that one. I think that's going to give Black a slight advantage. The computer agrees. Uh, you should take that one way or the other. It's technically a doubling of the pawns, but the way that's set up, it's not really going to be a liability. Oh, and he chooses not to even bother. He chooses to develop the bishop, uh, but not a great move there. There's going to be some shenanigans against this king in just a moment. You can see the line e takes d5, e takes d5, uh, and then bishop takes d5 as well. Everything hinging on this square. Shenanigans, you Yeah, because this is backing it up. Oh, but he doesn't. Oh, he blocks his own bishop. That's going to swing it back to Black's favor. Shenanigans. Yes. <laughs> And now, now that now that pawn capture comes with forcing the knight to move again. If that knight weren't there, this pawn could just sit there. It wouldn't be attacking anything. But now, it, the, the capture comes with an attack on the white knight. And the white knight going to have to either go to the dim rim, and he chooses not to, even though the computer was recommending it at that point. But it does allow another harassment technique by advancing the black pawn up to e5. Let's see if this cool cat done chooses that path. I'd love to see a little bit of just development over here. Uh, actually, this probably isn't super great because this knight can double the pawns, but yeah. Oh, I like... Okay, he does harass the knight from the <laughs> other direction. Interesting. Computer giving about equality to both of our competitors right now, forcing a knight retreat. Uh, moving it here is okay, but then you might get another pawn push further. Let's see how... I mean, both... These are... Probably the chillest of all the allies, would you say? Uh, for sure. Yeah, for this sure. is like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the chillest possible match here. Damiani looking on from the background, seeing who he will face in the finals <laughs> of this <laughs> second chess tournament. Moving the knight, very uh, aggressive move up there, but I don't know if I agree with that. Could easily be kicked out with a pawn push, but still, both players, computer giving both players basically equality. I have to say Don's pawn structure here is basically kind of a mess. Um... It's, it's, it's all over the place. What you want to see here is, you know, get this knight out and then castle. But the, all players here at Easy Alley seem to be somewhat allergic to castling, um, so it's probably not going to happen. Um, that queen move is interesting. It kind of takes it a little bit out of the game. And remember, these knights are supporting each other, um, so he doesn't really have to defend it. I do like that move there. Computer's still showing a basic equality here. <laughs> Huber mirror match is the least chill. I agree with that. <laughs> Huber facing Huber in chess would be absolute and utter chaos in every way. But you know what, really, in some way, in some sense, all chess games are absolute chaos. We see here, I love this move. If, <coughs> if Don can castle, I'm telling you, he's going to be in good shape. But no one ever wants to castle in these goddamn games, so what do I know? <laughs> Remember, the king right now has no defense. You want, like, a wall of pawns in front of the king to help protect it from a variety of threats. Right now, this king is loose. This king is back there, wondering where all his homies went, threatening the knight there. I do like that, but it's gonna. Lead, oh no! Look at that. It's plus two right now for White. He does go ahead. Computer accurate move from Blood. It's gonna have to recapture. This is check. Gonna have to recapture with the Queen. That's okay. But what's the follow up here? Looks like castling. Can Will White castle and protect his damn king? Again, the answer seems to be never. <laughs> but Blood is a new player. Blood has the opportunity here to prove me wrong. <laughs> I hope he takes it. <laughs> I hope either of these players take it. <laughs> the computer is recommending castling. <laughs> is he gonna do it? Oh my god, he, I think he's thinking about it. I think he's thinking about it. Oh no, <laughs> no, he doesn't do it. <laughs> and if you are gonna castle kingside, you wanna leave those pawns in this position. By moving that pawn out, you essentially make this castling worse because now there's more space for someone to come in here and start attacking on that side. Yes, the bishop's there right now, but that can be changed in a variety of very easy ways. Currently looking for a centralization move for the black queen. It's, that's, that's tough to see. It would be putting pressure on this knight pretty directly. Uh, you would then see a follow-up like bishop to b2 or d2 to help defend that. 
uh, the knight coming to the center, though. That's, you know what? I don't hate that. But the computer does. <laughs> Plus 4.7 now for white. Looking to take that pawn. Oh, and coming out all the way over here for a quick check. Now, in some cases, that's great, but not in this case. Moving the pawn up for a simple block, forcing the queen to retreat. And Don does see it. Cool as a cucumber, this guy. Doesn't get phased by scary checks from the queen. Now, all of a sudden, he's we're back to equality. We were at plus four, plus five a second ago. Now we're over here at plus 0 0.3. The queen can come up and hope to remain in an attacking position. That's what the computer recommends. Or the queen can retreat, which is what happens. Either are okay moves. Um, well, what do I know? Apparently, the computer disagrees. Um, oh, I see, because the knight is left undefended. It was left undefended. Now he sees it. Computer accurate. And threatening the queen. Look the F out, folks. Don in the shades. Throwing shade at Bloodworth. Bloodworth sees it. He's got a slight little smile on his face. He sees that. He goes, I, I got you. I see you. I see you. I see that move. I see that move. Still pretty equal on the clock. You gotta save this queen now. You can't get flustered by that. You went down a minor piece. Not the worst thing in the world. Oh no, but he doesn't see it. Oh no, he doesn't see it. If Don goes ahead and takes that queen, look the F out. Blood letting that mistake. I'm telling you it happens all the time. And he sees it. The queen is gone. The queen is gone, folks. Don, his face made of stone, his heart made of granite. Thanks, Don. That queen is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Our co-commentator throwing out quips. Love to see it. Here, looking to break the king's defenses even further with a pawn take here. We are minus 12. Now, just so everyone knows, minus means that black is ahead, plus means that white is ahead. So we're seeing a massive advantage. <gasps> and he castles! I mean, it's not the best move because the pawns have been moved up, but he castled. He did it. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I've just been looking for that for a long time, guys. <laughs> Don out here. <laughs> Look out. Damiani, you sweating over there, buddy? You seeing these moves? You seeing these moves from this man? A Damiani v Don Yeah, no, he's nothing on there. Would be the greatest. Nothing uh, on there. Uh, Pawn moving up. Now, there's an interesting possibility the rarest move in chess, en passant, is currently possible. Uh, taking en passant, E takes F3, en passant, uh, is possible. It's not even the best move. I just love doing it. It's <laughs> fun. Uh, you can only do it the move after that that pawn advance is played, so it looks like it's not going to happen. But you would love to see it. Love that en passant. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Moves the doubled pawn back. I like that move. It's decent. <laughs> I would take that on Passant after dinner. <laughs> Hell yeah. Buy, I would buy that on Passant. A Passant. Nice bottle of wine. It's a fun piece of chess history. <laughs> en Passant is the latest patch notes of chess. It was a new rule introduced in the late 1400s because they thought uh, the pawn being able to move up two in the beginning was like two OP. So they introduced en Passant, a rare move, to help try and mitigate that. So it was like patch notes, chess, you know, V5.28 in 1498. En passant, that was basically it. Yeah, you explained it before. I know there's new people out there. There's there, we got we got new people in the chat. I'm just throwing out that knowledge. Five thirty five forty. Five thirty five forty. Both very close mm -hmm. on time, but we are minus seventeen point two. Dom with an absolutely crushing edge at this time. Getting that queen up in that business, and it can pivot over here to f two. It could take this, take this rook, and then skewer to the other rook. You, you know, I mean, this bishop's still there, so maybe not that. But oh, does he see it? Are we going computer accurate, Don? Are we going computer accurate, Don? If he, I swear to God, if, I'm gonna freak out if he <laughs> plays queen d4. If he gets queen d4, I'm gonna lose. My <gasps> he fucking played queen d4. <laughs> Holy shit, Don is a terminator. <laughs> Holy shit, he d <laughs> he does see the rook attack. But, <laughs> holy shit, as I talked about, the immediate threat was the rook, but coming in here to pivot to f2 is going to be very, very effective. Just putting him in an absolute bind. Don out here throwing haymakers at blood. This is crazy. Ooh, 
That's that's a that's a very that's a very interesting move. I like that. Really pinning in that bishop. Gonna force that bishop to retreat. Uh, could come over here, but it's that's a tough one. It's a tough. Where do you put that bishop? You're gonna cut off. You know. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Oh God! <laughs> Hold on. I'm coming. <laughs> I screwed up. Okay, we're back. And it'll create a line. I think wow. It, I, it'll, it'll like, create. It looks like Doctor Strange, man. <laughs> yeah. 14 million, 500, 407, or whatever it is. And how many of them just flood wind? <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Taking some time in the tank, as the kids say, chooses to retreat. That is a good move there. All right. We're in technically a variation line, but I think it should still. We're in, a, we're in a variant timeline. We're in a variant mm -hmm. timeline, yeah. Y'all ever played 5D chess? It's basically like that. Should be good. Should be fine. Should still give me the analysis. Oh, uh, I know why your computer's fan's going crazy, because the computer analysis engine is running locally, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of CPU work happening on oh, there. okay. Yeah, I'm like, it shouldn't have this much trouble running no, the it's, website? No, it's, uh, it's, it's going hard. Okay. It's running Stockfish 14, so. <laughs> Which oh, is far better than any human alive, <laughs> so. I mean, it does, it does whir up every time you move a piece. Yeah, okay, now threatening mate in one. Threatening mate in one. Oh, no, just, yeah. Never mind, not threatening mate in one. JK, bishop's there. JK, everyone. It's really hard to see chess when you're doing this. <laughs> now the bishop now coming in and taking that previously scary pawn, kind of a little breather there for blood. Hashtag not computer accurate. What blood... Uh, what Don needs here is another attacker. The queen is so powerful, but it can't do everything by itself, right? You need one of these knights, one of these bishops, one of these rooks to come in and back that queen up. That's what you want to see. The queen bouncing around, it's going to not have too much success. And that's what we see. We see the rooks starting to join the attack, coming on a more active... Opening up that king, though. I mean, there's not really too much right. that... You know, you, you could come in here, but the, you know, the, the rook's protecting that square right now. I mean, I don't really think Black's King has anything to really worry about at this point. White's just boxed in down here. How do the rooks even get out? You know, I mean, it's the computer's, like, recommending that the rooks swing over and try to get out maybe after a, a bishop retreat. But, you know, that's really the biggest problem right now. Black has all the initiative. But what is the time situation like? Uh, 320, 357. So time is running out, and we're still kind of in the middle game here. Mm. This could be another time scramble. We're going to see. You know, when you were in there trying to make moves in the Armageddon game, I was like, just move! Just yeah. do anything! Yeah. <laughs> but here now, Blood is taking so much time to think. Moves the rook over to F1, which is not the accurate move. Now, this is crazy. A sacrifice tactic. So look at the line here. It's... it's n the look. music is down, Island. Oh. Did the music stop? Uh, the maybe. Music stopped, yeah. uh, I, got I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. So if we look at this variant line here, it'll be pawn takes and then queen takes, and then the king's going to be forced to move away, or the bishop was forced to block, and then you win the rook. So that's a very difficult line to see. The pawn moves forward to try and put pressure on that pinned pawn. He cannot take it. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. It's pinned. Trying to prevent illegal moves over here. Yeah. <laughs> Smack him. Oh, he's going to sacrifice the bishop to try and deal with that pawn threat. That was a great move there by Don. Attacking the pinned piece is a fundamental tactic of, I would say, intermediate to advanced chess. Coming in here, this pawn cannot move. It's being pinned to the king by the black rook. Instead, just kind of ignores the threat. I don't love that. Pawn takes is going to be absolutely devastating, and does Don see it? Of course he does. This man's computer accurate. This man's a cyborg. This man, we're going to have a match of cyborgs in the near future. Look out, folks. We are technically mate in one. Mate in one. There's only one legal move. Well, there's several legal moves, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's going to be. He moves it over. <laughs> now, that technically wasn't the mate, right? But if he had taken the bishop, that would have been the mate. Still, though, we are minus 22. Don absolutely crushing. <laughs> 220, 242. 
I like, like that Don had all the questions too beforehand. He was like, yeah. sort of the, it's, "Look at this slow. Look at this. Points, look at this fucking thing. The, oh my god! What? What? What was that? Was just a mentally devastating <laughs> move. Like the slow slide <laughs> all the way down the board. Did you guys at home Scraping see that? The that's rubber. the mental game of chess. <laughs> that's that's mind games right there. Good lord, showboating says logic error. Showboating. <laughs> Don casually looking at the clock. He's not worried. Don doesn't give a shit. Wow. Don doesn't give a shit. Well, trying to get the king desperately out of the way, but that's not going to help. You're yeah. just going to you're going to win a bishop for this exchange. It's going to be rook takes, bishop takes, queen takes is the obvious line here, and that's going to not technically be mate because then the bishop can block, but still. How much time these folks got left? 153 to 14. All these games are going pretty long here. It's not great for me going out dancing later. <laughs> Music's out again. I, yeah. Uh, it was just between songs. Oh, it was? Just hit play. I hit play. It's going now. <laughs> Getting to hit that clock button. It can be a little bit, it's hard to remember to do that. I swear to God, if Don loses to the clock. <laughs> if Don loses to the clock, we're going to lose our damn minds. Pawn takes, trying to get this other rook into the attack, which I do appreciate. Good move clearing out the A file for that rook. How much does Don have? Uh, 119 to 152. Oh, boy. Look out. Don's down on time. I, I, assuming I was hearing that right. Correct. Yeah. Black first, then white. Look out. He's got to make a quick move. Oh, he shouldn't put himself in the... Okay, okay. Again, this bishop is pinned to the king. Can't do anything. We're going to see this rook slide down. That would be very effective. Or just take the pawn, one or the other. Uh, ZOVGM, I recommend you not punch a hole in your wall because that <laughs> is bad for your wall. And your fist, probably. Don't do that. You don't trust this man? Look at his face. Do you think he's worried about time? He's not worried about time. Blood's behind on time now. Blood is now behind on time. <laughs> we just had like J pop just pumping in our ears while we were just playing. <laughs> we have the same songs, I think. Rook, that is a computer accurate move. 111.58. We might have to skip the second round of this because if we want to finish by 9, we have a hard out at 9, Isla? Uh, I mean, not really. All right. We can eat into what the dub. An easy update plays at 9. It's scheduled to go up at 9.15. It's a 10 minute episode. That is where the rook comes down. I love to see it. Rook to a3. It's putting extreme pressure on this, but the rook and king are currently guarding that. So what do you do? It's technically made an eight for Don. <laughs> Pawn takes up on the board. It's kind of a silly distraction. <laughs> <laughs> I love silly distractions. Yeah. I threw several of those out. Yeah. Looking to play. We're playing for the time. I don't think either player really knows how to proceed with this attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, they're just making pawn moves now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this, look, these quick moves. Don knows now. Don knows that he's, he's in severe trouble on time. Whoa, whoa, Ooh, whoa. Look out. That, perf that removes the defense of the rook. I think Don sees that. He does computer accurate. <laughs> look out. <laughs> the, the bishop is still pinned. Not anymore. Technically, it's out of that pin, but he can take the bishop. Don's got to go fast. 30, 27. He sees it, takes the bishop, and locks it in the clock. 26, 26. 20, we're... Oh boy, this is a rush. But look at these players, not even sweating. Both these players might as well be literally about to go to sleep. <laughs> That's a check. He has to deal with it. You got to hit that button faster, my dude. <laughs> you got to go, buddy. He takes it. Seconds on the clock. Blood makes a fast move. Hits the button. You, just, you should just do things faster. Don looking at the clock, but he doesn't have time to look at the clock. He's got to make a move. Literally anything. Oh my god, do oh my god. <laughs> His polarized sunglasses make it so he can't read the fucking clock. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong move. Shit. Oh god. Oh no. Uh, that's out. That's out. It's out. It's out. I messed up on the computer. What happened? What happened? You played the wrong move.
play chess, man. That's what happened. What happened? Oh, look look at the clock. I ran out of time. Oh, it did? Uh, Blood lost because What did I have, like, five seconds left, though? You had, like, yeah. Two, yeah. You had two oh, seconds left. Did you not see with the shades? I can barely are... see that. Oh, you can't <laughs> see with the shades? They're polarized. They're polarized. Oh, 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 I can't see the clock. His dumbass glasses. You can't see the fucking clock. But you can see my eyes. Oh, my God. You could have won. You could have just literally ago. done that <laughs> for a second. Okay, so. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so technically you guys are supposed to play two games. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's up to Isla. Like, are we? Because we're gonna have to have the finals. And yeah. I, and I want that to have two games. Um, I guess it's up to Blood and Don. What? I mean, either we just like we immediately advance. Go up late. Uh, like that's fine. We, yeah, I don't know. I, I still kind of got to get out of here at 9, though. He has, to, he has a heart out at 9. Right. Yeah, I so, wrap it up. Should we just go we'll to the finals? Let's go to the finals. The finals. Sure. I feel bad because technically white has a small advantage, but oh, black wait, won the game, so actually I don't feel that bad about it. <laughs> basically, black, uh, basically, blood wouldn't get it a shot at Oh, that you. doesn't seem fair. It doesn't. We could play a quick game, like like basically make it a three minute game now. Uh, maybe. You guys want to play a quick game? Give him the chance to come back? Uh, sure. I'll good. probably lose a quick game. <laughs> well, then Knights, we're gonna... then bishops. Right? Let's do it. But of course, if you if no. he wins the quick game, we're gonna have to play another quick game as Armageddon. <laughs> so whatever, sit down. Let's go. We can do this like WWE style, which is we just resolve yeah. this and then we the have the finale like tomorrow yeah. or have it. Or we could have the finale. We could do the finale. We could do the championship. She said another time. I mean, are you free tomorrow? We could just shove it in somewhere. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. I don't know what we would eat into for that. I'll look at the schedule. We could do that. It would that probably might be kind of hype. That's pretty hype. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay. Sit back down. We're gonna do the regular scheduled but, ten minute match. We, we do have to swap. Yeah, yes, you have to swap, yeah. and you have to both physically swap. Don, go over here. I don't even remember how to. God damn it. Let me check the schedule where we could fit the. Peter off so the couch. no matter what, we won't do the championship today. Uh. Uh, correct. Restroom. Correct. Seems sure. like, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. You're done for the day. Okay. I gotta take a long research break. I don't, yeah, yeah. don't want to screw you over. By the no, way. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're good. You're we'll good. finish them out the right way and then do the and finale. And then we'll do the finale right. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, do you want me to stick around to the end tonight or? You don't have to. Okay. Uh, it's just trash babies. Just I can trash just, babies yeah, I can just good. do it. Actually, I'll just I'll just cue the thing and then run. Thank you. I like narwhal. Yeah. Yeah. Trash babies is me, Blood, Jones, and Don. All these games going down to the wire, like almost yeah. every game yeah. coming down to time pressure. That one got scary. Yeah, that sweating. one got. That you had two sweating. seconds left, I Don. Know, I right, <laughs> Listen, if it happens again, I mean, I flip I the shades. Oh, here's, here's an easy thing. I'm lifting these shades. All right, we'll I'm put the. Bring a new, I'm gonna bring you a tire tomorrow. Okay, we'll we'll put the chess tournament. We'll start chess tournament at seven, same as today, and then we'll just do hidden in plain sight after that. Oh, sure. That's a perfect solution. Yeah, yeah, It'll probably be under an hour, probably. All right, same rules as last time, 10 minute game each. We've switched sides, Don now on white. White traditionally has an advantage, but Black took the game in the last round. Uh, to force an Armageddon, Blood must win outright Put this game. Mic up. A draw, oh, right, do that. <laughs> to force Armageddon, Blood must outright win this game. A draw will not do it. Not that we've seen a draw, they're fairly rare at this level, but that's okay. They could happen, stalemates can happen. Who knows, are you guys ready? Is are, is the music rolling? It is. Excellent. That's gonna that's gonna roll. All right. Let me reset the board. It got kind of ugly near the end. I was in a variation. It was weird. The pieces are correct. Yeah. The pieces are correct. At your leisure, gentlemen. Um. Hit it when you yeah. Just go. Okay. <laughs> the clock's probably running. Whatever. Technically, it's not supposed to start till he starts, but that's okay. Ooh, you guys see that? Computer accurate right there. It's recommended E4. Oh, oh my. Okay, we're not worried about time this game, folks. We're just going out. All right, we're actually following some slightly standard opening theory. All right, not anymore. Um, ooh, strong center control now. That's what you hope out of an opening for white. You want to get the both D and E pawns up there if they're unchallenged. The computer recommending that the pawn move up to challenge that center control, but the bishop coming out, it's not a horrible way to do it either. Both players moving with rapid speed, knowing how close each of them came to defeat in the last round due to time. Both players not risking that. It feels like they're determined to make quick moves to give themselves the time they need later in the game when things get crazy. 
Both players developing fairly well, but this bishop going to have to be developed to the Fianchetto. They've kind of blocked that pawn in. Uh, definitely just missed one. Oh, another pawn. That's just an absolute brigade of firing line of pawns down the center of the board, and Blood not challenging the position of those pawns, which is why the computer is giving it a plus two analysis, because he just controls all of these squares. No problem. But then moving that pawn up to challenge the bishop right here, uh, not quite as good a move because it creates some holes in White's position. It's better to remain flexible in these situations, but the bishop is going to have to find a new square to move. I would like to see it retreat, but it could move. Oh, and it moves up. That's an aggressive move. Remember, it can be kicked pretty easily with this move or this move, and he does it computer accurate, Don. Look out, and that bishop is going to be forced. So it could have just done that in one move. All right, but moving it down to the edge, that's okay. It's not a horrible move, but now White with a strong positional advantage. Positional advantage referring not to the fact that he's ahead in material, but that his general structure is very, very commanding. He has the most space. He has center control. He's going to be dominating the position of these pieces moving forward in the game. Going forward there, challenging that bishop again, really getting those pawns out. All of his pawns coming to the center of the board, forcing Blood's pieces to retreat and dance around. Interestingly, once this bishop moves here, it will have no more squares to go to. It's kind of locked there. Mighty Ducks formation. It's a flying V. Absolutely. The bishop going to the only really place it could, and now Don can continue his development. Ooh, he doesn't even bother. He's just pawn storming the enemy on the queen side. No questions. That's not an incredible move, though, because now this pawn is unprotected. There's, I mean, the bishop is there, but pawns like to be supported by each other. Similar to this pawn chain, uh, recently referred to in the chat as the Flying Ducks formation, this is a pawn chain, where pawns reinforce each other diagonally up and down the board. This pawn doesn't really have that. Later, you could move this pawn up to try and create that, but it's generally not as strong. That said, the knight has a good retreating square, if blood sees it, over here to e7. Ducks fly together. They do. They do fly together. Hopefully this Black Knight, shout out to Martin Lawrence, retreats correctly. <laughs> I just watched that movie not much. Really? Yeah. That's such a random movie to have watched recently. <laughs> oh, Martin Lawrence. Oh, Martin Remember Lawrence. Remember that, dude? Yeah. Yeah, good times. Good times, boys. <laughs> now, burning a lot of time here for blood. I mean, you got to move that knight. Yeah, that's yeah, computer accurate, baby. There you go. See, that's the thing. When you take a long time to think, it gives your opponent a long time to think. Yeah. Don taking advantage of yeah. that and moving instantly. That's you start getting that momentum, mm -hmm. right? And now he has to. Now he's on his back foot. Now that pawn comes up, on passant, not the recommended move. Huge bummer there. I, <laughs> not that I think anyone would do it, but it could happen. Now challenging the bishop there, going to be forced to move that back. Computer accurate. To d3. <laughs> uh, how does en passant work? As soon as I get just a free moment here, I will explain en passant. Oh, and a castle! you love to see that, folks. Don playing extremely well, but only plus 1.5. The way en passant works is that if a pawn moves up 2 on its first move, which it is allowed to do, uh, only on the very next move after a pawn moves up 2 is a pawn on the side of it, allowed to capture it as if it had only moved one square. And it can only happen on the exact next move after the pawn has moved up two, as though it had only moved one. It's kind of a balancing thing to make the pawn slightly less powerful. It's, it makes their move up two a little bit less good. Um, that's called en passant. It's rarely used, but it's always fun to see. Getting, again, very advanced positions into Black's territory, but Black's still not doing poorly. Black, White doesn't have an extremely effective immediate plan of attack. All of Black's pieces are protected, and now reinforcing that pawn chain, you know, you could take, take, but again, probably not going to castle queen side over there. You're probably going to castle king side after this knight moves out. But this pawn is really hurting Black's ability. I would rotate this knight maybe over here to get that knight out and then castle king side. Taking away these two squares, the natural development squares for the knight, you know, the knight could come here, but again, knights on rims are dim. Where would it even go? I mean, knights on rims are dim. They are. It's just the truth. <laughs> so we're going to so see glad there. You couldn't hear him while you were playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, it's a disaster to hear me. That'd be a nightmare. <laughs> Over here, white moving up. It was fun when songs would end now and that, then a new that song is would a start. Dangerous I'd, I'd get Jason move. for like three seconds. Oh, and right. like, oh. That is a dangerous move because you don't, want to advance. To do. oh, you don't want to advance the pawns in front of the king. Oh, but here's the problem. That just invites 
the black rook into the game. Oh no, but he doesn't do it. He blocks his own rook. You want to get that rook out. If that rook had come out, that would have been a huge advantage for blood. Instead, the pawn takes, blocking his own piece's ability to attack the king, who now has a bunch of empty space around him. You know, if you move this knight out of the way, this queen could come in to possibly the attack somehow, not right now, could chase away the knight maybe with a pawn push, but now it's a little bit harder for all that to happen. The rook coming up, hope, uh, not a bad move, hoping to defend, but now looking for that free piece, but unfortunately he doesn't see that the knight is defending it. I'm not exactly sure what that was from blood. And now a very big advantage opening up for Dom, plus 5.8. I don't know if he just didn't see the knight, if he thought it was a free pawn. I'm not sure what happened there, but a huge mistake. Both these players completely unflappable. I don't know if either I'll even... I'll put money on didn't see. It's usually what happens. Usually what happens. Somebody was in the fire just don't. I just, just a it's funny, it's like, it's like, dude, like even when they see, they have like, oh no, I've made a mistake. There's no expression on their faces. There's just no reaction from either of these people. They're, they're just, they're out there <clears throat> absolutely rigid. Which is like, you know what, that's intimidating. If I'm on the other side of the board and someone's right. not reacting at all, I'm like, oh my god. Not to mention Don's earlier mind game of very slowly moving the rook. He does bring that knight to the dim rim, but you know what, he really didn't have any other options. It's like, yeah, it's dim, but at least it's something. There's mm -hmm. some light there. It's mm -hmm. not purely in the darkness. Right, right. I'll take that. You know, the knight could come here, the bishop can challenge it, and then you have to double the pawns. Oh, well, the knight can recapture as well. So I'm just rambling at this point, folks. Don't pay attention to any don't don't pay attention to me. I wonder if this rook is going to try and transfer over to this file now that the pawn is blocking the h file. But really, it's Don's game to lose, which you could argue that all games in existence are Don's game to lose. I think sure, he has yeah. that kind of Definitely personality. Could. Isla, can I get a time check, please? Yeah, 558, 610. 558, 610, both equal on the yeah. clock at approximately six minutes each. The positional advantage here for Don could prove to be crushing, which would make tomorrow's finals. Don versus Damiani, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right. Blood's still in this. Don Miani. Don, Don, Don Miani. Yeah. I'm already making posters. <laughs> <laughs> Match of the century. All right, the queen coming out. That is a bold move. That is a bold move. Let's find out what the computer thinks. Plus 4.8. Pawn taking. Now that is a solid move because it is freeing up this rook to come into the game. I do like that very much. The queen really doesn't have much to do over here. This pawn chain making it very difficult. You can imagine the queen maybe coming here and then here, but I don't really see what the point of that is. I'd love to I'd love to have seen the queen maybe come over to the defense of the king on this side and maybe start attacking down this direction, but right now the queen is very far away from that indeed. Oh, I didn't hit the Oh, that's a you problem. <laughs> what do we do? He didn't hit it. Just yeah, keep going. <laughs> That's a free time for you, buddy. The rook swinging over, not a bad move at all, putting pressure on this pawn. All this knight has to do is kind of move one way or the other. And he does see that. He jumps into the fray. Interesting move, but white. This, this piece, not currently undefended. The rook could recapture. But it is recommending and saying that bishop is really good. Ooh. Interesting move. He takes... The bishop, and the problem with that is that it's, it's getting the rook off of that good square. So that is a solid move over there from blood, bringing the advantage down to just 3.7, assuming that Don recaptures the knight, which he absolutely should. And he's not, oh my god, he's, oh my god. Look out, folks, we got a game. We got a game all of a sudden. All of a sudden, black, now with the lead, minus three. He did not capture the knight. Now, yes, he has to retreat the knight, and he does. Smart move from blood. Don with a little slip up there. It's interesting that retreating is, is the right thing to do a lot. It well, always feels yeah. like I'm losing momentum. No, absolutely you know? not. Yeah. That's the right move because here he was basically saying, okay, let's do a trade, right? Yeah. Could have captured, but the, the capture didn't happen. So instead he just came in, gobbled a free piece, and then got the hell out. Yeah. Hit and run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like the Simpsons. Look out. We are minus 3.4 blood taking the lead. Could we have a second Armageddon, Brandon? <laughs> How did that army get a feel for you? I, I, I would honestly have to... It's extremely stressful. I'd have to step outside of the it's building. It's incredibly stressful. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, we've talked about this before. Making these mistakes, and I think Don realizes it now, can have a cascading effect. He chooses to trade. Not the worst idea in the world. You don't want to see a capture with the pawn. You want to see a capture with the knight. Ooh, that hurts. 
you can see the massive change. It was minus four, now minus 1.6. That was actually a two and a half point change. Here, yeah, the pawns, the pawns can't stuck. reinforce each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Now they're just loose. This knight could have come into the game and helped to attack. Mm -hmm. This is a weak pawn over here. Big mistake there. It's always important to think if you have multiple pieces that can recapture, which one's going to be the best for you? Yeah, yeah. It's happened twice in this game where I think blood has chosen well, you the want to wrong. those moves as much as you can, and it's just an easy. It feels like the right, right way to do it. Right, it feels like the like, right oh, way to do I it. Get, you know, yeah. He gave me this move, and he's giving but me But here, pawn. you would still maintain this beautiful pawn formation, flying V, and this knight really jumping into the game Blood would have been awesome. More than a minute time wow, pressing in on Don. Pressing in on Don. Look out. Rook swinging all the way over to the G file. I like that. That is an open file. That's a pretty solid move. Like, this is, this is a potential egress point for white. I don't use that word very often in real life, but I'm mm -hmm. glad I just got to. Always fun. It would be an ingress. Oh my god. <laughs> You're right. I'm a fool. <laughs> Isla calling me the f, f out. <laughs> Rook coming up, it looks like, to yeah. h5. Oh, that, look, look at us now. We're at equality, folks. After some <sighs> small wow. some small blunders, we are at an equal game, according to the computer. Except Don's down by Except a minute. Don's down by a minute. Don can't read the clock. He's got the glasses on. He doesn't know he what's happening. He's, yeah. he's, he's going, he's self he thinks that mental intimidation yeah. is worth more than being able to look at the damn clock. Right. He's, a, he's in a self-imposed disadvantage that looks really good. It looks so good. And I think it would actually be more effective against another opponent. But how can you flap right. the unflappable? Yeah. There's no flapping. Yeah. There's no flapping. I don't even think, yeah. Like, to me, I would be, my knees would buckle if I saw right. Darth Maul and the shades. Exactly. But Blood's but just not blood, that kind no, of player. He's not, you're right. He's... He's not phased. So I think Don intentionally handicapping himself, moving the king up. What is happening all of a sudden? Oh, my goodness. Look at a very quick move from Blood. I love to see that. And that is the computer accurate move. He did. He busted out the computer accurate move in a half a second. Right. Incredible. What are, what are they thinking when I'm doing weird things like that? You know, they can't I, hear me. I, I, I try not to think of anything. <laughs> this is a very dangerous move now. Don's down by more than two minutes. Don is down by a ton of time. Don doesn't even know what time it is. Don thinks he's got ten minutes. <laughs> Who knows? 427. Don has fallen asleep, says Avatar Don. Too asleep? No. How much, how much time does Don have, Isla? Uh, two something. 427 to 206. 206, Don. Oh, my God. He's, he's not even thinking about it. He's sub two now. I think uh, you just check the time. <laughs> no, he just, he, no, I don't think he checked the time. I think he looked at me. Huh? I think he looked at me. Yeah, that was a glare. <laughs> I think he, he was glaring at me, yeah. commentator. <laughs> oh, he checked the time first? Okay, cool. He but he's not moving. If you check the time, he should know he's got to move. I know. I, I almost want to snap in front of him, but that's very rude yeah, and also is, unfair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will not be that rude. I wonder if he like thinks it's blood. Does down. he just want to go to Armageddon? Yeah, maybe. I think he's just throwing the game right now. Don is a showman. Don is a showman. That's does he, true. Does he know it's his turn? He don't think he might have. Does he know it's his turn? <laughs> Chat, it's his turn, right? Yeah. It's his turn. It's his turn. Why? I think he doesn't know. Why did we go five years without playing chess? I, I, I think he doesn't know it's his turn. Right in front do of I, us. Do I alert no, him? No, no, no I can't. you didn't alert blood. I didn't alert, I didn't alert anyone. It was right in front I, of I us. I can't. It, Don has no Such idea it's his turn. Don has no Jason idea. This. Oh, no, he does. Oh, okay. He does know. He oh moves his king over what is happening. <sighs> it was so casual. <laughs> what is happening? <sighs> what? I don't know what's going on anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. What's happening? <laughs> Don's still not moving. How much time, Isla? It's 420 to 34. <laughs> Don doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Look at him. He's well, relaxed. There was the threat. See, that's there was the threat of us, you know, <laughs> Don, immediately going into the championship. So right. I think this that's, is a retaliation against that. Do you, oh, that's interesting. That's really is interesting. He, is he throwing? Don did. He might. We're gonna have to do a post-match interview. Don was not happy about the clock. He hates when we the were going clock. through the meeting, Don was like flabbergasted. He was like, "What? No, we're not doing the clock." He's like, "Dude, the clock is but he, everything." It is everything. Don and Huber were both like very. They were adamantly yeah, against the clock. Clock Oh my god. He has 10 seconds. Well, this game is obviously Six, over. Five, four, three, two, one. 
one. Game over. Game over. Don, what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, baby? Armageddon, that's what's going on. You oh, lose track of time. You lost track of time. You were sitting there for like three just, minutes, my dude. I was thinking. We thought it wasn't your turn. We, we thought you we thought you didn't know it was your turn. We thought you uh, were turn. We, we thought, thought you were throwing start. the game. But we got it. We, we thought you were. We gotta do Armageddon now. That's fine, we have Armageddon. That's fine, we have Armageddon. I mean, chat's happy. We should not man. Uh, no, well hold on, we gotta stay right. here. Two Armageddon's in a row. We didn't have any Armageddon's last chess tournament. I know. Uh, choose two. Dang please. it. Oh, uh, sure. All right, you're white, so switch sides, guys. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> All right, this is going to be the final game of the day to oh, determine no. Damiani's oh, challenger. I'm not going to be any good at this. I mean, no one's any good at this. That's Where the point. Wee you, wee you. My favorite Mortal Kombat, my least favorite chess game. Least favorite chess. <sighs> chess MK. Great game, guys. Worst chess. Good game, bud. Well, confounding. Confounding game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh! <laughs> so, confounding game. Beyond, like, oh my goodness. Things up, I don't know what that is. Good game, was it? <laughs> you had me all locked up. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Gentlemen. I correct Jason's vocabulary, so that felt good. Yeah, yeah, that was solid. What's that? I, I, I mistook an egress for an ingress. Um, all right, just as a reminder, this is an Armageddon game. The winner of this will determine who Damiani goes up against in tomorrow's chess finals. You each have three minutes, uh, because White has a general advantage in chess. If this match ends in a draw or stalemate, that means Don will have won. So should that one be down now? If you'll move it? and you'll hit Hold it. on, wait. Okay. Repeat the I last part. Okay. If there is a draw or a stalemate, you win by default. So it's not truly a draw. You will just win. Wow. But I don't think that's going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. Don, but... maybe take the sunglasses off. Wait, why Why won't that happen? You don't think it'll be a draw or a stalemate? It's unlikely. It's just unlikely. It hasn't happened yet in all of our games. It's not common. You, are you sure you want to wear those glasses, my dude? Positive. You can't see the glasses. <laughs> They're working so far. Are they? <laughs> you lost the game. Wait, place your bets, guys. 30 seconds. Place your bets. Oh I'm God. good. All right, so what are we trying to do here? The fast? sunglasses. Three fast? minutes. Wild. Three minutes. Crazy fast. Three, Three fast minutes. As you it's almost can. certainly going to end in someone timing out, not a checkmate. So move fast. Good luck, blood. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. At your leisure, gentlemen, this is it. The final Armageddon game. Let's get it, Armageddon. Here we go, opening up with a rare one, countering on the other side with a mirror move. You love to see that mirror game. You gonna try to track it? I'm gonna try and track it. Figure why not? I can do it. If I lose track, I'll just go to the I'll just go to the fucking board. Both players moving fairly quickly. You love to see that. Oh, this is already very challenging. I can barely even focus on the game. The bishop coming to slightly awkward square again. The fianchetto is where it wants to be. But both players moving at, a, at an effective pace. You love to see that now creating a barrier of pawns. Uh, that's not right. That's right. Uh, the bishop now coming in front of the king. The, that's all I can do to just track this game. The knight coming into a convenient hole. I do like that. Uh, but there is a loose pawn, doesn't see it. The bishop just immediately goes to threaten the knight. Could have taken the pawn over here uh, on b5. All right, Don, starting to think that's going to be death. Thinking is death. It's not death, it's chess. But you got to think faster. Don, Don's got already moves. He moves. That's the kind of quick movement. One, one thing I've noticed for both these players is that even if they make a quick move, they take forever to hit the button. They're they losing do. a second every single time they do that. Pawn coming up. It is a little bit hard to keep track of what's going on here. We're at approximate equality, but it's all about the clock. Take a look at that clock, and I'm telling you, whoever is ahead on that is probably winning at this current moment in time. Is it a courtesy to hit the clock with the same hand you move? You the actually piece have with? to. That is a you rule. You have to. Yes, that yeah. is a rule. You Can must. I whip the piece? Uh, you don't have to do it with, with the, the hand. Piece, you with the hand the that you move with. the piece with, because oh. otherwise you could be like like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Don already starting to fall behind on the clock. I, already, I don't want you to look at the clock because I can tell he's falling behind on the clock. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's probably over. <laughs> you never know. You could have a surprise checkmate out of nowhere. I hope this position is accurate. It's very hard to keep track. I believe it is. Down over here, the knight looking to develop to the center of the board yeah, that to D2. Good. That's a good move. Don has to move fast. Doesn't even matter what he does. He just has to move. And we were gonna give. We were just gonna give Don. Yeah. 
yeah. the yeah. win earlier. We, we were just going <laughs> to give Don the win, but I think Blood's going to go on to take Damiani. I shouldn't say that. You never know what can happen. But Don's if Damiani to... shows up tomorrow in shades, oh my god, I, I yeah, then we'll deal with it. Look at these fast moves from Blood, oh, but a oh, counter oh. fast move. Okay. Bishop moving in, still at a quality here, but you love to see these attacking moves. I do really like that rook lift. But the knight coming in here, I like that. Looking for a long castle. No. It's technically here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an illegal long castle, but now he's doing it. The rook coming oh. in. First time I've ever done one. Yeah, no, it's good. Exciting. Yeah, just go, just go, baby. Now that's not a good. Just go, just go. <laughs> <laughs> the queen can just take that rook. I don't know if he sees it. He, he does see it. it. Yeah, he can take it. I don't know if you heard me. I hope he didn't. I heard you on that one. Jeff. Oh shit! <laughs> clock. Clock. Stand between salt. Clock. No. No, <laughs> he didn't hit the clock. That's your karmic punishment for Someone hearing me. Someone should remind you of the clock. No. No. <laughs> the point of the game pawn takes i don't know how much don has left what's don have left 154. oh my god blood playing this absolutely right oh i love that move pressuring pressuring forcing oh, him yeah, to think sure. moves the rook over oh, okay. now he takes the look out that's a check queen up to take the pawn it's not over yet i think don feels the urgency now moves it up that was just by one right oh my god i'm barely yes. keeping track it's of this light, yeah, yeah. All right, now blood starting to think a little bit. It is not over yet. Don still hanging in there. Yeah. That comes with a check if he sees it, but instead it's a retreating move from the knight over to the edge of the board. Knight's on a rim or dim, baby. Moves that pawn up to challenge the pawn on the H file. Now the bishop coming over, taking that pawn, but the rook can just take that back. I hope he didn't hear that either. Don still taking too much time per move. It has to be nearly identical. Moving the queen into the enemy position. That's a check. Blood forced to react to that. 40 to 120. It's not over yet. 40 seconds is not nothing. The king sw sweeping over to D1. Look at that. Ready, pulling up, taking that bishop. That was a fast move from Donnie. Starting to feel the heat. Blood starting to get on his back foot. Trying to get the king into safety, moving behind the queen on the queen side. Don still taking too much time. Don reaching his hand over the board, trying to figure out what to do. Moving the knight into the hole in the position, threatening the queen on D7. How's that going to work? The computer recommending a counterattack from the knight. He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. He can take the he can take the queen. He does see that. He takes the queen. He's still down on time, but it's not over yet. Oh my God! Only 22 seconds for Don. Don's got to go. Don's got to move. Don's got to move. Stick and move, Don. Stick and move. 1757. Knight taking. Knight taking back. Only 15 nice. seconds left. Only 15. There he she oh, checks. <laughs> He sees I have 15 it. seconds left. Yeah, now he sees what it. What the hell? Yeah, how about that? Rook moves over. 11? The shades Wait. the shades are devastating. Well, the shades are the shades are devastating. Take your, shades off. Take your goddamn shades <laughs> off. Pawn moves up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Seven to thirty. Check. He's literally That's not the right move. He's supposed school. to block. He's got a block with the. He's got a block. He takes it. Oh, but the bishop was defending. I can't even see this shit. I need a rook over here. What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> no one sees anything. The the bishop and the knight are intention. Pawn takes, push, take. God, I, don't, I I can't follow it anymore. We're just gonna have to watch. There's two pawns on the same space. What's happening right now? It's not over. It's not over. Pawn push. Pawn push. Oh my god. Knight moves in. That's important. You could have oh just taken god. it. Is it? A, what happened? What happened? Zero seconds. One second. Oh my god! <laughs> no, what? No! Oh my god! Take off the shades! Take off the shades! Don! Oh my god! I got so. You lost the most dog leg possible. Oh my god! I'm pretty sure I. I I'm pretty sure I grabbed the wrong thing at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I mean, yeah. You Jason, guys, a there pleasure. Were two pawns on everything yeah, I, I don't know what happened at the All end. Right. I couldn't Fair keep enough. track on the computer anymore. Oh, holy shit! Excellent, holy shit. excellent, oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. Oh, my Very nicely done, blood. Oh my god. Let's blood watch some dumb barely hanging on.
Ah! I'm quite sure I got the wrong thing. Chad is yelling, check the tape. I don't know what... There's a, I mean, in terms of There time. was an illegal two-handed time hit, blood, is, blood is what we're it, saying. Blood took oh, it. Oh, blood hit the clock with both hands at one point. Like, everything was... Everything got bugaboo. In the I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna allow blood everything to happen. It, For the record, it. the technical rule is you must hit the clock with the hand with which you move the piece. Oh. So you go there and then hit. You can't... Me hitting the button with the pieces. That's, that's fine, that's fine. fine. You just can't use the other hand. Because oh, okay. you could be like... Bum, like that, you know, you're not allowed to do that. But. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't realize I had 15 <sighs> seconds left. That's when things got a little Yeah, you, you weren't like, you know, you, you know what we can do? We can review the tape overnight. No, 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 don't review it. <laughs> Just give it the blood, give it the blood, give it the blood. I mean, I'd be interested to see what happened in slow-mo at that last moment. Yeah. I just want to see it. Yeah. I mean, I definitely saw the clock. I just, the stuff leading up to it, I got, I got Logic Aaron, thank you for the setup. Logic Aaron, thank you, Logic Aaron. Oh my god, Don, you were at one point down there, like, by a full minute, and we were like, it's over, Don's, yeah, Don's did down. Yeah, realize this is what i Because of the shades! The clock is a problem, it's the clock! For him, yeah! For anyone that's unaware, he's wearing polarized sunglasses, which make it impossible for him to read the LCD display of the chess clock they're using. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just, the I most didn't know. thing! I didn't know. Yeah. It's a power play. Well, everyone, that was two matches ago. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, he's not, he's unflappable, what are you doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes oh. the semi-finals of the Easy Allies Thank Easy Killer Chess Tournament. Thank you, Jason. I've been your commentator and host, Jason Wishnot, but I will be back tomorrow for the finals. The finals where Damiani takes on Bloodworth, wow. the best chess player champion of Easy Allies. You and I just get to kick back. Yeah, yeah. you can kick him oh back, give him color commentary. Get the what are we thinking, 6.30? Uh, you get here at 6.30, we'll do it at 7. 7 o'clock p.m. Do not miss the exciting conclusion. Wow, thanks for coming back. Of the Easy Chillin' Chess Tournament. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. That was epic. I blocked out for the last two hours. What happened? Oh, man. Yeah, that was amazing is what happened. I'm just going to leave the chess set here. I don't even know what do we... We're, so we're doing an easy update, and then what? <laughs> easy update, and then what the dub. Oh, crap. And then, okay. um... Which will be shorter than an hour. And then trash babies. And then trash fine. babies. Oh, almost hit that guy. Love trash babies. Oh, you love me? Okay. <laughs> so nice. Oh, both players finally learned the meaning of speed at the end. I wow. to see it. Yeah, that, that's what I went into an absolute that's what bullet matches. Look like. <laughs> I went that's into an absolute frenzy. Yeah, you went. Once I frenzy. realized I had 15 seconds, I said, <laughs> "You were like, oh what? Oh, All no. options are off the table for I'm strategy." I'm glad you at least started to care about the clock once you saw you had 15 seconds. Yeah, we didn't. It, it seemed like you didn't understand the concept of time at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Be doop. Be doop. Be -doop. I think you're setting all that up. That was fantastic, you guys. That was epic. Some good games all around, though. Coming down to the coming down to two Armageddon, double I Armageddon. Where you're standing. I'll wedge myself. You trap. Don Jones is stressed himself. out even when he doesn't play. Yeah. Oh man, I always had to leave the room. That was <laughs> Andrew Travel. Thank you. Let me hook this back. This okay, I'll leave this uh, over somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, remember if you are enjoying this fine, easy, chilling content, remember to subscribe, hit that Patreon, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. These guys depend on you to continue their amazing work, and it's fantastic here with, with all these people. They're, they're lovely, they're wonderful. You guys are wonderful. The community's great. Always love coming by. Remember, you guys are the real heroes. <laughs> Jason, thank you. Thank Jason. you so much, Jason. Thank you. That was incredible. All right. Peace! Oh, Enjoy your Saturday night. See you tomorrow.